What's going on? We're back. It's Money Flocks here. As promised, we're going to do the giveaway for the Tribe of Hackers book. I got it right here. I'm going to send this to somebody. I found a, uh, a YouTube comment picker. I put the URL in there. I'm going to do this in real time so it's fair. I'm going to hit that button, one of those buttons, and uh, it's going to pick a comment from that video from last week. If you put the hashtag Tribe of Hackers uh, in your comment and you're chosen, I'm going to get in contact with you through YouTube. Just make sure you look out, check out for that or look out for that so I can send you that. Um, so if you want to come over to the screen with me, uh, I'm on commentpicker.com. This is the URL for that video. And once I click this, it's going to pick one random person. As long as you have the hashtag, you're a winner. Um, as far as I know, I think everyone pretty much did it. There were some people that commented that didn't put the hashtag. I guess they had the book or didn't want the book. Um, so if if it, if it pops up and it's you, I'm just going to do it again to be fair. So here we go. Let me close this ad. Start the drum roll. Do -do 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 -do, whatever. Corny. Okay. Click start. And let's see who gets chosen. Randy. Tribe of Hacker, great video. Thank you, Randy. Randy, I'm going to send you through YouTube a message. Um, hopefully, I get in contact with you. I'll give you a week or two weeks. And there's no rush for this. Uh, hopefully, you're watching. Hopefully, you subscribe. Hopefully, you shared. And uh, you can see this, so I can just go ahead and send you that. So, congratulations to Randy. I'll do another one soon, maybe next week, couple weeks, whatever. I'll do another book. Um, so, I appreciate pre blah, 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 blah. appreciate you guys for checking us out. Now, uh, for my next topic, what I want to talk about, uh, let me close this out of here. So, um, on my journey to cybersecurity awareness, uh, mastery, subject matter expert, learning about all this type of stuff, OSCP and all that stuff, um, I started to realize that when it came to my professional job, you know, when I'm at work, uh, doing assessments and compliance type of work, um, I realize I, 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 I'm applying cybersecurity concepts and best practices more so at work and in a professional setting than I do here at my own home. Um, I, can, <laughs> I can make a long list of things that I'm not doing that I should be doing <coughs> in my place of residence on my systems uh, on, you know, my computers and, and best practices that I should be doing. So I'm going to start applying a lot of that, that stuff. Um, you know, m like most people who are in cybersecurity, well, I can't even say that. Like people in cybersecurity who may know the best ways to secure things or who know better, not all of us actually apply that stuff to our home situation, um, to our, you know, our practices that we do. For instance, making passwords, uh, you know, making complex, unique passwords for every account, every website that we have. Um, I can't speak for most people out there, but I know me personally, and I probably should admit this online, especially with <laughs> with my ac my accolades and the information and knowledge that I have. But I uh, I reuse passwords, and I know that's a no no across websites. So that's one of the things I'm going to get into. Uh, you know, is is getting into a password manager and starting to actually practice these best security practices for my home life, um, you know, my personal accounts, my things. So today, what I want to talk about is, um, so I'm planning, I'll put it this way, I have a lot of IoT devices in my network. At home, I have two Google Homes. I have a bunch of Hue lights. Um, I know video games aren't considered IoT, but I have a PlayStation 4 and a Nintendo Switch. Um, I'll, I'll consider those ILT for the, for purposes of m my my network and my video and what I'm trying to do. But essentially, put it this way, I currently do not have my ILT devices segmented in a separate network than my computers and laptops and tablets and phones. And try not to jump on me too hard or scold me, but I know that's wrong. I know there's all types of security implications with that. But as I mentioned, I'm I'm taking direction to correct <laughs> some of the best practices that I do in my home life. So um, what I'm what I'm going to start doing or what I'm going to do between this video 
and maybe next video hopefully it'll be two videos at, at the most i'm going to design uh well it's already designed for me but i'm going to implement a home solution for uh to separate to segment my network so i have a, an iot network and my secure network hopefully which would be my computers and laptops and things that are important and just separate those two concepts um, for obvious reasons that cybersecurity professionals are aware of um, but most homes aren't doing so i'm going to take you guys through this journey with me um, hopefully you can learn if you if you yourself haven't done this you know you can take this time to get motivated to do that as well um, and even if you're not into tech or, or cyber or awareness you can understand and learn how important it is to isolate your IOT devices from everything else that is important. Um, so I don't have, I have uh, this router here. I've had it for some years when I had Verizon files. It's pretty basic, it's pretty simple. Did I just put this? Yeah, I'm gonna put it. This is the router. I'm gonna change the default passwords on it. So if you, if you catch that and you zoomed in, it's, it's not gonna be, I'll just, Go ahead and fuzz it out anyway. So anyway, um, here we go. Let's let's try that again. I got this old router from uh, when I had Verizon files years and years ago. Um, it's it works as far as I know. There might be some some updates on that I could run out in or whatever, but I'm gonna use that for my IoT devices. So let me actually let me pull up a quick diagram here I found this diagram and I'll put the link in the description and this is the diagram I found it takes you through a three router solution for IOT security uh, in your home you can read this on your own I'm gonna go you know that skip straight to the to the I think this is it yeah so this is basically what I'm gonna implement here um, so I got my internet this is gonna be my my border gateway for for my ISP um, this is a modem in this picture, but this is basically where we are. And so I'm going to, I already have my Verizon router that I'm going to use for the IoT network. And then I'm going to purchase sometime this week uh, a, a third router uh, strictly for my my workstations, my, my computers, my laptops, and things like that. So this is basically the uh, what I'm going to implement in my home solution here. I sh I've known this was wrong for a while. I should have done this years and years ago. Um, but again, being on this cybersecurity journey, learning OCP, learning hacking, learning pen testing, learning about vulnerabilities and pivoting and all the issues that come default to a situation like this. I'm gonna start implementing best practices to protect myself, my family, my home life. Um, because at the current moment, I'm really just I'm really just practicing this stuff at my job. So I'm gonna to try to take, basically take my work home and just be more aware and more responsible. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so I'm implementing this solution. I already have two routers. Uh, as I said, I have two Google Homes. I have a bunch of Hue, uh, Philips Hue lights, as you can see, probably in the background. And then I'm going to put my Nintendo Switch and PS4. And there's probably some other random things that I could put on there that's not crucial, like my, my laptops and, and desktop. Um, what I will ask is if, is if any blah, 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 blah. What I will ask is if anybody has suggestions for another router um yeah, i know i don't need a crazy thousand dollar uh industry industrialized router i just need something for i don't know at least 10 devices 10 10 secure devices that i'm that i'm going to have on this network here um if you have any good suggestions if you've implemented uh, a solution like this if you have suggestions i would appreciate it in the comments um i think i'm going to take a week to do this so if I buy this device this week next week I will actually do the video for my implementation I'll go over some basic things um, subnetting creating my uh, my subnets my networks the numbering schemes um, and I think I'm just gonna use the default firewall rules that come into these routers I'm not gonna install anything new I mean I don't know depending on what I purchase for this for this here I may do something crazy like that but I know for the basics, I'm just going to turn off uh, wireless on the border router um, and just have uh, hardline to these two and then have the wireless on for these because these are going to be the two networks that are actually going to be receiving wireless traffic to my nodes and devices. So 
I'm going to implement this. Uh, I'm going to take you guys on a journey with me. It's going to should be pretty simple. Uh, I'm I'm natively a network guy. My first degree well, and my bachelor's degree was in network security. So even though it's been a while since I actually did things like this, I'm pretty sure it'll come to me pretty quickly. Um, and, and as I said, throughout the week, I'll probably shoot little clips of my process. Maybe, you know, when I go to Best Buy or wherever I buy the router at or you know, show you uh, how I did things when I when I when I got back here, and implement you know the router uh, config. So that's going to be fun. Um, some other things I'm going to do. I'm going to, and I've been thinking about this for a long time. I'm going to actually use a password manager. Um, I still have inhibitions of providing a piece of software or application all the keys to my kingdom. Uh, you know. I, I have so many accounts and websites, and I do forget them, and I do renew them every month depending on what it is. And I know that's not optimal. Um, I'm one human brain. I forget passwords. Um, but I have a scheme that I use, and I know that's not necessarily secure and safe. Um, so that's going to be another video in the future. I'm going to do some research. I'm going to implement Password Manager, and then I'll report to you guys the best ways or what I've learned from using a password manager. If it's easier, if it's, uh, you know, efficient, if I lock myself out of my accounts, and I'll just take you guys through that journey with me. Um, but that's pretty much it uh, for this video. Just want to keep you guys posted. I'm, hopefully I can motivate you to implement best cybersecurity practices in your house, in your household, on your equipment, on your devices. I know I'm pretty late to this game. I uh, probably should have been doing this a long time ago. Uh, I know better. I should know better, but I'm going to get better. And here I am admitting to the world that I will do better. Um, so again, if anybody has any suggestions of home network segmentation solutions, any devices, uh, any software, um, and then if you want to throw me any hints, not hints, but uh, advice about password managers and whatnot, um, I'll definitely take those into account. Um, but I do want to appreciate you guys liking, sharing, subscribing. I will get back and do another um, giveaway. I think this, this giveaway was fun. Can't wait to send this off. Hopefully, Randy, this uh, inspires you to jump into cybersecurity or learn more about it if you haven't. And if not, you can pass it along to a friend or somebody uh, that you think may may need it or can use it. Um, still on my OSCP journey. I got less than two months now. April 12th, it's going down. 24 hours. 24 hour exam. I'm going to do it. It's going to be fun. Um, probably going to fail, but it is what it is. So I just want to thank you guys. I don't have anything else this week. Um, keep liking, keep sharing, keep subscribing, and I'll see you guys next week when I actually implement this solution here. So I want to thank you guys again, and uh, peace out. Thanks.